You have my deepest sympathies, Mark, Gravel said, resting a hand on his friend's shoulder. But the great machine had thought to choose you as a representative of your species of all things. It must have been a great shock. It was a big surprise, Mo replied, nodding. Though I'm confident they will not destroy my race for a long time yet. How can you be so certain? Gravel asked. Convinced his friend was just in denial at the impending doom awaiting his race. Simple. Because of that machine's very nature, of course, Mark replied with a grim reminiscence of a child caught making mischief. How so? Take your race, for instance. You're a hive-minded species, something we humans were surprised to find was the norm among races in this universe, Mark began, while gesturing to Gravel. That machine goes through all time to the point of its chosen representative and takes the greatest minds of that race to answer but one question for that representative. Yes, that is so, Gravel agreed while nodding. Your race, because of their hive-minded nature, would inevitably be drawn to the same conclusions and ideologies, while my race has a unique this that is very different. I don't follow, Gravel said, tilting his head in confusion. Simply put, because we humans are individuals, we will never share exactly the same view. No matter how much overlap our people have, there will be differences. So when that machine asked me to ask any question I could fathom, I let my mind go to work trying to find something no human would come to the same conclusion on. Mars Grin only grew more prominent. So what did you ask them? The meaning of life? How did the universe start? There's so many. Gravel looked intently at his friend. Well, Mars Grin could barely be contained on his face. First I will say I picked something rather... Well, rather childish. Oh? Gravel said, with an arch bow in surprise. Yes, I asked the greatest minds of humanity a question that will cause endless debate and never have a real resolution. That is the thing with us, when we make a firm decision... We will defend that idea even if we are wrong. Please tell me, Mark, what did you ask? Gravel now begged. I asked them this. How can a grown adult pick their nose without concealing their actions, make it so no negative idea will result about him, even in the smallest detail? Mark's eyes now shone with the sheer madness of his question. Yup. Gravel paused to compose himself. The question you asked THE machine, the nexus of all great minds, was how to pick your nose and not look like a childish idiot? Gravel finally shouted in shock. You do realise if they answer it, the machine will destroy your race. Why would you ask such a thing? Gravel was nearing apoplectic. Well, if whatever I'm going to ask will result in my race's death, I may as well make it a memorable one. Regardless, those great minds will debate this endlessly, as there's no real answer. Mark grinned. <laughs>